Hello and welcome to Look East. In the programme tonight, living with ME and how research in Norwich could offer a real breakthrough. It's very promising. I think it gives hope now for probably the first time that there could be a treatment uh, for, for this devastating disorder. The merger, which is about to create the biggest district council in the country. Ratty as you've never seen him before. And I'm here in Stevenage, where astronaut Tim Peake is inspiring the next generation. Hello, an international centre for research into the causes of ME is being set up in Norwich. Scientists told Look East today they are making real breakthroughs in finding a treatment for the condition, which is also known as chronic fatigue syndrome. It's thought 250,000 people across the country are affected by ME, and so far there is no effective treatment. The most common symptoms are severe fatigue, painful muscles and joints, and poor memory and concentration. Now scientists in Norwich are planning to trial a cancer drug which has been found to help patients with ME in Norway. The research in this region has been crowd-funded by ME sufferers like Rosalind Amor from Bury St Edmunds. She's so affected by the illness, she spends her life in bed in semi-darkness and can only speak in a whisper. Mike Liggins has been to meet her. Arriving at Rosalind Amor's home, the first thing you notice is the sign on the door. It says, very ill person lives here, please do not knock. That's because Rosalind can't tolerate too much noise or too much light. Rosalind was diagnosed with ME at the age of eight. She's now 25. Conversations have to be conducted in a whisper. I've all weak and heavy and tired. Tired. And weak and heavy. Rosalind Amor's health improved when she was 15. At that time, she could walk a little and stand, only using a wheelchair outdoors. But four years ago, Rosalind had a relapse, and today she can't get out of bed, is partly fed by tube, and also uses hand gestures to communicate. You must get down about how you feel. Yeah. I don't exactly want to be spending my wasting my entire life in bed. Hello, honey. Hi, sweetheart. Despite everything, Rosalind remains positive. She writes a blog for the Invest in ME Research charity and helps to raise money for them. Now that she can actually use an iPad and connect to the rest of the world again, immediately she's back in touch, uh, part of the team. And, you know, the fact that she can contribute to the blog and writing is what she loves to do. I want to be a journalist. I wanted to be a journalist until I was 17. Do you think that might come one day? Rosalind loves the outdoors but hasn't been in the garden for years. She is following the developments in ME research closely but is also realistic about what the future might hold. Mike Liggins, BBC Look East, Bury St Edmunds. Well, the new research is offering hope. In Norway, they found that a drug normally used to treat cancer has helped people with ME. Now those same scientists have come to Norwich to talk about a trial of that same drug here. This from Ian Barmer. ME has always been seen as a condition that's in the mind. But now scientists in Norway are confident they could be on the verge of a breakthrough to show that, in fact, it's a physical disorder. Until now, there have been no effective treatments, but a commonly used cancer drug has delivered a big improvement in symptoms. We had uh, a few patients who had long-standing severe ME who got lymphoma. And we saw that when they got lymphoma treatment, chemotherapy, or the drugs rituximab, they seemed to have a benefit from that treatment on their ME symptoms. The Norwegian research looks at the way sugar is converted into energy in the blood, and that's closely related to research into ME that's underway in Norwich. The experts from Norway are in Norwich now to help plan for a big upcoming trial here. I think it's very exciting, it's very promising. I think it gives hope now for probably the first time that there could be a treatment 
uh, for, for this devastating disorder. Norwich is becoming a national centre for the study of ME. Next year, the work will move into the Quadrum Institute, which is opening on the Norwich Research Park. And by the end of 2018, the major trial using the same cancer drug, rituximab, will start at the Norfolk and Norwich Hospital with patients from Norfolk and Suffolk. That's good news for people like Charlotte Scase from Swaffham. She's desperate for an effective treatment for ME. It's been a long time coming and uh, I've lost the last 10 or so years of this, of, of my life to this. So um, I just hope they, they have a breakthrough and, and, and can help us out. Scientists are more confident now that ME could be reversible. For Charlotte and the quarter of a million UK sufferers, that can't come soon enough. Ian Barmer, BBC Look East.